Psalm 31. In your righteousness deliver me, incline your ear to me, rescue me speedily, be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress, and for your name's sake, you lead me and guide me. You take me out of the net they have hidden for me, for you are my refuge. With your hand I commit my spirit. Be strong, and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 2 How like a father with his children, we exhorted each one of you and encouraged you and charged you to walk in a manner worthy of God, who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. Revelation 3 Yet you have still a few names in Sardis, people who have not soiled their garments. And they will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. The one who conquers will be clothed thus in white garments. And I will never blot his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. Luke 21. But watch yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares of this life. And that day come upon you suddenly like a trap. For it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. But stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. The second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 1. To this end, we always pray for you, that our God may make you worthy of his calling, and may fulfill every resolve for good and every work of faith by his power, so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you, and you in him, according to the grace of God. I speak unto thee this day, and I say that men have cheapened what it is that I've done for them. They thought they get by with the compromise of the same, but I say they are fools. For I say, when men will think they can have it their way and do as they please, yet be found worthy of me, I say they are deceiving themselves. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does have the standard, and men will meet the standard. Or I say, they are not found pleasing me. And I say, they are not acceptable unto me if they will not walk in my way. Now I say, when I came to earth and I walked among men as a man, I say that I dictated unto those who would be my followers what it was that I required of them. Now I say that I've not altered that standard for modern man, but I say that the same remains. For I say, if a man will not love me with all of his heart, I say that he's not worthy of me. And I say, if a man will not put me above all else, then I say that he's not worthy of me. I say this day that I, the living God, do know that many will be sadly disappointed. I say they will wail, they will moan, they will grieve themselves, but it will be too late. For I say that they love their life, they love the things that are in this world more than me. And I say in so choosing, they chose in opposition to what it is that I, the living God, had for them. And I say they chose a way of foolishness, a way of vanity and vexation and pride. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call men to walk afar off from me, yet think they gain the benefits of my kingdom, for they will not. For I say that the ones who are found well-pleasing are the ones who will love me, who will continue to repent before me and walk uprightly in me. And I say it is me, the living God, who does look upon the wayward, perverse, and backslidden generation that you are in, and I say that I give the call to repent. That is, I give the call for all to return to me by humbling themselves unto me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never ever intended that you would be found in the way of the foolish, the way of the vile, the way of the corrupt. But I say that I've intended that you would consider that it is me you are meant to keep your heart before all of your days. And I say it is me you are meant to love with all of your strength because I am the one who is your life. And I say that aside from me there is no life to be found. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give the call to all men to repent, I say they are meant to obey me in the same. That is, they are meant to turn from the wickedness, the darkness, the evil of their own way, and be found abiding in me. And I say they are meant to be coming forth rejoicing for the privilege to walk in my life. And I say they are meant to be found knowing that it is me they can serve always. 
Now I say this day in a wayward, a vile, a corrupted, and evil generation, consider how much mercy I offer to any and all who will obey me. That is, I offer the mercy, I offer the truth, I offer the light. And I say when men will gladly accept that mercy and walk in the same, then of course they are pleasing unto me. But I say when men will be rejecting and not accepting the mercy because they want their own way, then I say they will esteem they may do as they please when they please and be found all right with me. Now I say if you consider how confused that is, I say that it does not make sense at all. For I say that when men are bound in their own understanding, bound in their own way, then I say they make assumptions that are not true. And I say that they make assumptions regarding their relationship to me that are far from the truth and are not intended as I would provide. But I say they are making those assumptions because they are loving themselves more than me. Now I say this day there are endless multitudes who are bound under Babylon's Jesus, having it their way all to their own damnation. For I say they are not worthy of me because it is not me that they love. But I say they love the vanity, they love the god of crafty invention that they serve day by day, for they may do as they please. But I say that they will not lose their lives to gain my life, and I say they will have none of me. I say this day if any man or woman will truly be my disciple, I say they must love and serve me with all of their hearts. And I say that they must be willing to walk in the way that I give them, the way of my truth, my light, my mercy revealed. And I say that they must be thankful each day that it is me they can look to, believe and trust, for I am well able. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give to you the light, I give to you the truth, and I give to you the mercy, I say be made glad to be serving me. That is, to be ever coming forth in that which I give you time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who is righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is strength and hope. And it is me, the living God, who is the way that is peace provided. And I say when it is me that you seek to please always, then I say you are found abiding in me. And I say that a man will keep on abiding if he keeps repenting and humbling himself and walking in my way. But I say, when men will puff on pride, they think they are better than they are. They esteem they no longer have to meet the standard that I require. And I say, they become inventors of their own way, and I say, that way is destruction. I say, this day, be thankful that you can indeed humble yourself to walk in my way and be brought forth by me. And I say, be thankful that to me you are directed, corrected, and shown the light each and every day, for I give you the same. For I say, if you walk in humility, the repentant way that I offer, revolting against the old way of carnality, the way of sin and darkness and evil, then I say, you are worthy of me. But I say, if you go in a way that is indulgent to your own carnality, putting everything above me, then how can you be worthy of me? I say this day that I, the living God, have not altered my standard to accommodate men, for I say that is not how things are intended to be. But I say that men are men to alter their lives to accommodate me. That is, in order to please me, to satisfy my desire and what it is that I require, that they can come forth in my way. But I say when men are choosing to be losing, then I say they are living in opposition to me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to live in opposition to me, but I say that I've called you to come forth in me. And I say that I've called you to be thankful each day that you can walk uprightly in me time and again. That is, that you can be coming forth ever guided, directed, and instructed in the blessedness, the strength, and the truth that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is truth and light, strength and mercy, and hope intended for all who are mine. Therefore I say this day, let it be me that you will look to, let it be me that you will follow after and obey. For I say, if you are coming forth in the way that I give thee, the way of life and truth, then I say you will be ever pleasing unto me. And I say, when you will continue to humble yourself in repentance day by day, then I say you will not be giving proud estimation as to your own worth. But I say you will know, understand, and realize that it is only through me and my mercy upon thee that you are redeemed. 
I say this day that I, the living God, never called men to live in their own religious pride, and yet I say they choose the same. That is, they choose to live in their self-made worlds, their self-made gods, and their self-made estimation as to how great they are. And I say the God they are truly serving is not me at all. But I say they are choosing to serve the God of self, the God of crafty invention, the God of imagination that will bring them damnation of soul. I say this day do not go in the way of damnation, but I say be thankful for the salvation that is found in me. And I say be thankful that each and every day you are uplifted, guided, and directed in my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed all righteousness, truth, and mercy provided for those who are trusting in me. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, instruct, and guide forth the people who believe and likewise receive of me. I say this day be thankful to continue, be thankful to be brought forth, be thankful to be guided each day in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. For I say it is a wonderful thing to be found worthy of me, thy maker, thy God. And I say when it is me that you cleave to in faith and trust and confidence, you will not be made to shame. For I say that I am ever present to bring forth the ones who prove that it is me that they love. For I say a man may say that he loves me, but I say that his actions will prove who it is that he truly has set his heart upon. And I say, if a man is pleasing himself, is pleasing the world, is walking in the vanity of the same, I say, he is not pleasing me. And I say, if a man is adoring his own way, seeking to keep his life, I say that he will not abandon unto me. But I say, he will simply live in the pretension of his own imagination as to how great he is. I say, there are multitudes who will find themselves desolate of soul, they will howl unto the wind because they chose against me. That is, they put on a fair show of religion, but I say that their hearts were not with me. And I say they will perish because they chose other lovers, they chose other gods, and they did not choose me. That is, even though they used my name in vain, I say they were pretenders wanting their own way. I say that I, the living God, am not deceived, nor am I mocked by the pretentious, by the foolish, by the proud, who must have things their way. For I say, such ones as these are fools who will be bound forever in their folly, because they are choosing in opposition to me. That is, they are choosing to be losing by going in a way of stubborn, proud fools, insisting that they do it their way. But I say, they are insisting in the very way that will cause them to be damned. I say this day when I, the living God, do give the call to all men to repent, I say that men and women are meant to take seriously the same. That is, they are meant to know, understand, and realize that it is me they must love with all of their hearts. That is, they must be willing to repent, which means stop their sinning and walk uprightly in me. And I say that they must be willing to walk in the truth, to light the blessedness of who I am. Now I say, therefore, this day do not look to the ways of the world, the vanity of the same, but I say, be brought forth in me. And I say, be thankful each day that you are given the privilege to believe upon me, to trust in me, and be guided in my way. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to go pouring from me to end in a keep of deep despair. But I say that you can come forth rejoicing for the privilege to believe, receive, and be brought forth in my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness, blessedness, truth, and mercy given to the ones who serve me day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will direct and correct and guide forth the people who are ever trusting in me. Therefore I say, be faithful, be true, be steady, and live abiding in me. That is, coming forth in the blessedness, the truth, the light, the strength that I give each and every day. Now I say this day, be quick to accept my covering, be quick to walk in my truth, and I say, be quick to repent unto me. For I say, if you will continue abiding, then I say you will continue humbling yourself unto me. For I say that I, the living God, will resist the proud, for I say they are abomination to me. And I say that the ones who insist and persist they do it their way are doing nothing but damning their souls. I say this day do not look for your way, but look to abide in my way, for it is the way of life. And I say look to be ever present in the truth, the strength, the mercy of who I am. And I say look to serve me in the attitude of gratitude each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God alone of all the gods who is able. Therefore I say be thankful to rejoice in me. 
And I say, be made glad that it is me you can look to, believe in, and trust each day, for I am the I am God. And I say, you are not meant to be behaving as a fool and likewise lose your soul, but I say, you are meant to walk wisely in repentance, revolution each day in me, ever thankful to be in me, the author and the finisher of your faith.